We're getting new details tonight about an officer-involved shooting in Northeast Tulsa. We brought you breaking news at 5, 6, and 6.30 tonight on that case. It happened near Pine Street North 129th East Avenue this afternoon when police say they were trying to arrest a wanted man. Fox, Fox 23's Alex Cash was at the scene and is live with what she learned from police and a witness. Officers here at Tulsa Police Headquarters are investigating this evening and an officer has been placed on administrative leave. It's after a police officer shot at a man who they say pointed a gun at them while they were trying to serve an arrest warrant. This is 22-year-old Brendan Lance, covered in blood and with staples visible on the side of his head. This is what he looked like when he was booked into the Tulsa County Jail after police say he pointed a gun at them, so an officer shot at him and hit his head. When we arrived at the location, he came out of his home with a revolver and his actions cause officers to open fire on the suspect. Tulsa Police Captain Richard Muhlenberg told me the Tulsa Police Fugitive Warrant Squad were trying to serve a warrant on him around 2 on Wednesday afternoon at this house near 129th East Avenue and East Pine. It was in connection with an arson case from last year for trying to light a house on fire with his family inside. He reached a plea deal but police say he recently broke the terms of the agreement. Police say Lance came out of the house with a gun in his hand and came down these steps threatening them. So an officer opened fire. So here we're coming out here to arrest someone who is a known dangerous individual. Here's someone who has put his own family in harm's way in the past. So we already know that's dangerous. So we're going to take as much caution and care as possible. When someone comes out with a weapon, they escalate that. So we're in high alert. And then his actions are going to endanger himself and everybody out here. So officers were forced to take action based on the suspect's actions. I spoke with Shauna Morrison, who was in the house at the time. She's the aunt of Lance's girlfriend. She says she's shaken up by what happens. Either he was going to take himself out or he was probably going to go out you know, suicide by cop, so I'm sure that's what he was probably trying to do. I think it grazed him. I don't think it went, I'm not really sure. There, there was quite a bit of blood. My niece was over there, you know, saying, hurry, help him. He's bleeding a lot. We're told no officers were injured. Lance was taken to a hospital. He's now been released and booked into the Tulsa County Jail for, amongst others, first-degree arson, endangering human life, possession of a firearm under DOC supervision, and obstruction of a police officer. Lance's girlfriend was also arrested for harboring a fugitive. Covering news that matters, I'm Alex Cash, Fox 23 News.